Every now and then we hear of skeptics uh, calling into question the historicity of the crucifixion of Jesus. Now, while many Christians point to the Bible as evidence to the historicity of Jesus, a skeptic may not hold the same view as you. They probably would deny the validity of the biblical scripture in itself as a historical document and data. Although I would totally disagree with that stand due to the overwhelming evidence saying otherwise, is there any evidence outside of the Bible that speak of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ? Now in this video, we are going to go through three non-Christian sources that speaks of the crucifixion of Jesus. Number 1. Lucian of Samoseda Lucian is a Greek satirist who is known to be highly critical of the Christians. In the book The Death of Peregrinus, Lucian writes about Peregrinus, a Greek cynic philosopher who is also known to be a pseudo-Christian. Now Lucian believed that the Christians were also duped by Peregrinus to believe him and even Christians at that time helped him during his time in prison. In this book Lucian writes, The Christians you know worship a man to this day, the distinguished personage who introduced their novel rites and was crucified on that account. What we can draw out of this writing is that Christians worshipped what he thought to be a man. And this man was crucified. Number two, Cornelius Tacitus. Tacitus was known to be a Roman orator, public official, and historian. In his book, The Annals, Book 15, Chapter 44, Tacitus gives us an insight of the Christians of that time. A passage from Chapter 44 reads like this. Consequently, to get rid of the report, Nero fastened the guilt and inflicted the most exquisite tortures on a class hated for the abomination called Christians by the populace. Christus, from whom the name had its origin, suffered the extreme penalty during the reign of Tiberius at the hands of one of our procurators, Pontius Pilatus. From this writing, what data can we draw out from this passage? One. The origin of the group called Christians is from a person named Christus. Christus suffered the extreme penalty during the Roman time, and that too at the hands of Pontius Pilate. Now let's go to our third non-Christian source that speaks of the crucifixion of Jesus, and probably the most controversial one, Josephus. Josephus is known to be a Jewish priest, scholar, and historian. In his book, The Jewish Antiquities, Josephus gives a commentary on the Christians. The writings of Josephus on Christians are called out to be very controversial among scholars for very obvious reasons. Now this passage, which is often called Testimonium Flavianum, meaning the testimony of Josephus, is taken from the Antiquities of the Jews, Book 18, Chapter 3, Section 3. Now there was about this time Jesus, a wise man, if it be lawful to call him a man, for he was a doer of wonderful works, a teacher of such men as received the truth with pleasure. He drew over to him both many of the Jews and many of the Gentiles. He was the Christ. And when Pilate, at the suggestion of the principal men among us, had condemned him to the cross, those that loved him at the first did not forsake him, for he appeared to them alive again the third day as divine prophets had foretold this and 10,000 over wonderful things concerning him and the tribe of Christians so named from him are not extinct at this day. Obviously, you can see what the controversy is all about. A Jewish historian document that sounds more like a Christian writing? Scholars have debated on this over the years and thought the Testimonium Flavianum to be tampered with or at least have a Christian interpolation to it. However, in 1971, Mr. Pines released a thesis titled An Arabic Version of the Testimonium Flavianum and Its Implications. In that paper, Mr. Pines presents a different manuscript in Arabic found to be quoting the Testimonium Flavianum. 
the translation of the Arabic text into English is written like this. Similarly, Josephus the Hebrew, for he says in the treatise that he has written on the governance of the Jews. At this time, there was a wise man who was called Jesus, and his conduct was good, and he was known to be virtuous, and many people from among the Jews and the other nations became his disciples. Pilate condemned him to be crucified and to die, and those who had become his disciples did not abandon his discipleship. They reported that he had appeared to them three days after his crucifixion and that he was alive accordingly he was perhaps the messiah concerning whom the prophets have recounted wonders from this text we can see that the writing is more neutral in nature without the christian interpolation could he have got a more reliable copy of the testimonium flavianum maybe maybe not but even in this manuscript presented in the thesis by Mr. Pines, we can draw out a few points that relates to Jesus. Jesus was called to be a wise man. Jews and Gentiles became his disciples. Pilate condemned him to be crucified and to die. The report of Jesus resurrecting and he is alive. As a summary to these three non-Christian sources, we learned that Lucian thought the Christians worshipped a man and he was crucified. Then we went through the writings of Cornelius Tacitus. In his writing, the origin of the group called Christians is from a person named Christus and he suffered the extreme penalty at the hands of Pontius Pilate. Then we also went through the writings of Josephus and in his writing we found that Jesus was called to be a wise man. Jews and Gentiles became his disciples. Pilate condemned him to be crucified and to die and the report of Jesus resurrecting and he was alive. Now the one thing all three non-Christian sources here agree with is undoubtedly the crucifixion of Jesus.